Welcome to the Amherst Student Podcast. I'm Mike Shredder. Today, I have Jack Trent joining me. So he just competed in nationals with the with a couple other members of the Amherst uh, track. And, and he's just going to talk to me a little bit about his events that he does. He does multiple events as a decathlete. And also, he um, just competed in nationals. So he's going to talk to me a little bit about that and just give the recognition to Amherst track that they deserve. They have been doing really well over the past couple of years. So Jack, thanks for uh, joining the podcast. Appreciate it. Yeah, happy to be here. Yeah, so first question I want to get into, um, how does it feel to be a part of Nationals as a junior? And, you know, well, how is that experience for you overall? And just, you know, obviously just, you know, take me a little, take the insider a little bit into that experience for you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, it was a crazy time. So I guess just to take a step back, like to talk about qualification, uh, like in track, they just take the top 20 in each event each event group so like uh if you're top 20 in the 400 then you go to nationals if you're top 20 in you know whatever event you do um and going into the week before nationals i was 21st um and troy collar and another the on our team was seventh but was dealing with a bunch of hamstring issues so it was a big question mark of like will he be able to go a few days before uh the competition he makes the call like hamstring isn't in a spot to be doing the whole have tap on indoor uh so he medically scratches which like moved me into the 20th spot uh, which was crazy obviously i feel terrible that you know he couldn't go like he's one of our best guys loves it just straight competitor uh but had a wild opportunity to go and went with a bunch of women uh on the women's team who also qualified and it was a wild time um especially for me being a walk-on, like being able to represent Amherst on a stage like that is, is really special and really something I don't take for, at least I try not to take for granted. Um, and it was just a great time to see all of our teammates really compete at that high level with a bunch of really good people. And, and uh, you know, hopefully we made the program proud and, and left it all out there. Talk to me a little bit um, about kind of what this means for you think Amherst track generally, right? Obviously you guys have had success you know, the past couple of years, obviously, you know, Coach Rubin, the, the coaches throughout the, the program have done a great job, but just talked about like, as, you know, a member of the team and maybe you're also the people that competed, you know, what do you think this means for just Amherst track as, as a whole? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, I mean, I think it's, it's a really good sign of, of what's to come. Uh, like we had a pretty injury riddled indoor season and so the fact that the women sent, you know, the four by four and then four individual people to nationals, um, I think three of whom are freshmen is, is a really great sign for them. Like they look unbelievable this year. Uh, and the men, I was the only guy that went, but as I mentioned, Troy was out with an injury. Uh, a few guys were right on the bubble. I know like Kalechi Aziri was 21st, so he's one spot out. And then they were a really good young core of people. Uh, so I think it's just a good sign that, you know, Amherst is <clears throat> hopefully, you know, competitive on a, on a national level and able to hang with some of those schools that are historically really, really good. Uh, like Williams got third this year and, you know, we want to compete with them and are grateful to have the opportunity to compete with them. And so I think it's a good sign that we're sending kids to nationals, they're performing. And, you know, if we do everything that we need to do for outdoor, we could send a bunch of people and then really try to put on a, put on a show and put up a good performance. So obviously, you, as a decathlete, you do a lot of different events, right? So what I want you to do for the, uh, the, the viewer here is to just break down briefly what those events are and uh, talk about your motivation to do that, because that, <laughs> it, it, you know, that, that takes a lot of uh, you know, stamina and also just a lot of motivation to want to do that many events. <laughs> yeah, so it's really complicated for whatever reason. Um, so outdoor, we do the decathlon. Indoor, we do the heptathlon. Um, so what I did in Nationals this weekend was, was the heptathlon, which is seven events uh, over the course of two days. So the first day is the 60 meter dash, the long jump, shot put, high jump. And then the second day is uh, the 60 meter hurdles, pole vault, and then 1000 meter run. Uh, and then it's pretty similar for the decathlon, but you add in discus and javelin and then change the running to a 100, 400, and 1500 instead of the 60 in the, uh, in the 1K. And I think it's a great time. I mean, sort of a war of attrition, you know, being in a competition for two days and uh, like doing all those different disciplines is 
mentally very tough and physically very tough. But uh, I think the best part of it for me is like during our regular training block, we get to touch on a lot of different events throughout the week. And so it never really gets boring because you're like hurdle one day and then throw another day and then high jump another day, uh, which to me is so, so good because every day is sort of a fresh start and like you get to, you get to build off of what you did last week, as opposed to, you know, in basketball, like for example, to use an example that you might be familiar with, like if you're having a rough shooting day and then you come into practice the next day, like you might still be thinking about that shooting day. But if you hurdle one day and have a bad hurdle day and the next day you high jump, like you know, those don't really interact at all. So like you just have to have a fresh slate. Uh, and I think it's nice to get out of the repetitiveness of, of just running um, every day. So I really enjoy it. It's definitely not for everyone, but I'm happy to be here. And we have a good, a good squad of multi-event athletes who, who really like it and are really pretty committed to, to trying to do as well as we can in that. So my final question is obviously, you know, you guys just kind of wrapped up the winter season you know, you know, congrats, obviously, the success on Thank that. You. But I, I want to talk a little bit about, obviously, you're, you're charging toward the spring season, which I'm uh, talking to a few people in the team, they're very excited about, right? Uh, everyone's going to be able to get healthy and, you know, yeah. be able to compete outdoors and the weather's going to hopefully be nice up at Amherst. So that's, that's a good sign. So talk to me about what you are looking um, in terms of excitement about it and like what excites you about the spring season this year? Yeah, that's a great question. So, so I actually didn't run track in high school. And then my freshman year and sophomore year, both outdoor seasons were canceled for COVID. Um, so I've actually never done an outdoor track meet. Uh, and so obviously I'm very excited because like everyone on the team says outdoor is more fun than indoor. Um, and it's gonna be a completely new experience for me. So that should be awesome. Uh, and you know, like the cage is, is track material, but it's not actually an indoor track. Um, and so moving outside and getting back on the track and being able to really open it up and get a lot of good work in and not being as constrained by the facilities that we have. That's not to say the cage is bad. Like we do a lot of good work in the cage, but um, to really be out on the track and go and do relays and run the four by one or run the four by four and do all these exciting things that I've seen, but never experienced should be, should be awesome. And then obviously the kicker there is that indoor, we don't have a NESCAC championship. We just have a new England championship and a nationals, but outdoor there's an NESCAC championship. Um, and so, you know, looking at it from a team perspective, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors all haven't competed for a NESCAC title. Uh, and I think it's just going to be awesome to see our team sort of rally around that and see what we can do. Obviously, a lot of good teams in the conference, but uh, we'd like to think that we're in that conversation and it all comes down to the day. I think it's April 30th or something like that. Um, so, you know, we'll do the work that we can do and then surrender the outcome there and hopefully it falls our way. Well, Jack, I want to thank you for uh, taking the time to come on this podcast and talk a little bit about, you know, your experience at Nationals, a little bit about your events and uh, what you're looking forward to for the spring season. So, you know, everyone, keep, you know, keep posting on Amherst track. They're doing great <laughs> things. So, Jack, good seeing you, buddy, and uh, see you soon. Yeah, I appreciate it. See you. If you enjoyed that clip, guys, hit that subscribe button and get more from me and the Shred Takes podcast show.